You will all be working to repair your world, and you dear light workers who have already begun anchoring the vibrations of your fifth dimensional earth unto the collective energies and frames of perception may find yourselves pioneering the beginning of the restoration of your world, as you will begin helping people find the impetus and motivation to begin the hardest of tasks that are set out for the collective of earth to perform. There is much learning that needs to take place and while you will be given assistance from your galactic brethren, the bulk of the work is indeed yours to be done and we could not encourage more, your beginning of this work in any facet you find yourselves beginning it. You can help motivate the earth public in beginning to understand the need to end war, separation and hatred of any kind and you can all begin to bring forth the concepts that will drive your unfolding new earth, eradicating lack on a mass scale being one of them. You all have the motivations from spirit that will lead you onward to benefiting the entirety of humanity with the enlightened perspectives you are finding, and we know that you all have much love, knowledge and insight to share with a collective who have been caught up in their own ways and have not realized the massive effects their actions have garnered for dearest Gaia. The majority of souls on your world do not understand that Gaia is a living, conscious being and that the actions of man on her surface affect her very strongly and the pollution that has been manifested and fed on your earth has stopped Gaia from expressing the true beauty and radiance of her surface in the ways that she had originally done so. Gaia has always been a brimming example of our Creator's wonderful and beautiful design, and she has always reflected the natural light of the Creator which resides within us all. Oh, how happy we are and will be to introduce you dear souls to the very concepts driving your ascension. For the most part, you are beginning to introduce these concepts yourselves but we will be with you to bask in the wonderful glow of your fifth dimensional new earth, and you will enjoy our presence knowing you had achieved so much without the assistance you had originally anticipated. There are already so many strong enlightened earth condits delivering truth and for the most part, you have brought these truths and concepts forth and not only expressed them, but radiated them all throughout the collective consciousness of your dear earth who will steadily absorb and adjust to these new energies bringing forth your fifth dimensional experiences and perspective. Your perspectives will continue to be morphed into infinite, evolving higher dimensional perspectives and the dogmas and belief systems many have employed until this point will be seen in the light for what they truly are. Any incompletion or dissatisfaction concerning one's experience in any way will be brought to the surface and you will all work through and realize aspects of yourselves that you had perhaps not expected to come up, but that are coming up with the rest of your entourage of hidden away memories that have been waiting for their chance to be worked through and transmuted by none other than you. Each of you has individually taken on a set of challenges and problems that have remained attached to you until you began the crucial process of working through them. For some of you, this process has taken many, many lives and as some of you have experienced literally hundreds of lives on the surface of Gaia, we hope you can understand when we say that you are at the cornucopia of your experience. You have reached the pinnacle of your life paths and the final lower dimensional lessons you have not yet worked through which for many of you, date back to many past lives, are testing you and your ability to remain centered and sure in the light of the Creator that you are all naturally beginning to refine in yourselves. The new paradigm as it is being called is truly upon you all now and we ask you to continue to radiate the vibrations of this new paradigm out to everyone around you as you anchor them unto yourselves. Your efforts are so very needed at this time and will continue to be as at present, we face an earth that is being created by the human cells living upon it. As has been discussed and will continue to be, every thought and action creates an imprint upon the collective consciousness and every impression and imprint sent out is sent through to create the realities of those who sent them out, as well as to affect the collective consciousness in big ways. The overall energies of the entire collective affects events playing out on the world stage and affects everything of importance occurring on your world, and it is through the separation-based human earth collective energies that the few with influence and perceived power on your world have been able to usurp the light out of many and keep the majority of humanity feeding a continually fading and disintegrating grid of darkness. There have been a plethora of enlightened souls on the surface of your world and you have all walked with enlightened extraterrestrial beings who have found the fifth dimensional states of consciousness that they and we dearly wish for you to find again because indeed, that is the plan for your collective. You are continuing your climb into realms of increased consciousness and your trek has been nothing if not wonderful to behold, because of the nature of extreme density you have allowed to anchor unto yourselves. 
the grid of darkness is finding its influence fading, if for no other reason, than for the fact that the very energies that have driven it have been answered to exponentially by the light worker collective and by every soul who has found an awakening upon the surface of your earth, especially the light workers who have went out of their way and made it their mission to anchor supremely pure energies unto your world that have served to shift the influence back into the light and transmute the energies and vibrations feeding the formerly strong and, formerly, hard to penetrate grid of darkness on your world. This grid was once so strong because of the collective's feeding of it and now, so many souls are finding genuine awakenings to the falsehoods that have been established around your reality, and your entire world is beginning to see the need to change the way it has operated. You are beginning to see that you cannot remain separated and poorer countries cannot be allowed to continue to suffer while a few people with influence and power hoard the world's wealth and develop advanced programs that are not in the best interests of humanity, among doing so many other things. We ask you to remove yourselves from the influence of the cabals for truly, they are a whispering influence in a world that has embraced the light and that will begin to reflect this embrace as it is seen that the new paradigm has arrived. You may be surprised as to how easily your world accepts the new paradigm unfolding and as you have all put so very much work in, you will see the fruits of your labors manifested before you. The entire earth collective will respond to the lightning energies making their way to your surface and permeating your mind and spirit, and you will all begin to find your specific roles and the specific piece of the puzzle you have come to this world to fill as every unique and needed position will be undertaken to help rebuild the condition your world is in. Oppression, starvation and lack of any kind simply cannot last on your beautiful world, for the lightning vibrations are calling for collective peace, harmony, abundance and prosperity for every individual soul and for your entire collective as well. Please know that absolutely nobody will be left out, and you will all find what you have been looking for. You are developing yourselves as you reach the realms of consciousness you have been climbing toward, and as you find every aspect of your higher self you see that you have indeed been working in plenty more realms than the third and fourth dimensions of the earth, to help bring about your personal ascension and that of the earth collective. Some of you, when sleeping, are beginning to actually attune to your higher selves and to aspects of yourselves whom you can feel existing in different realities, as they report and relay the experiences you are having back to the rest of their or your collective. There are a plethora of souls who have funneled respective aspects of themselves down to exist upon your earth and eventually find their own ascension while, if possible, assisting the collective in attaining theirs. You will notice on your world, that there are some souls who seem to look or sound nearly completely alike, yet have no relation to each other. There are many souls on your world who have incarnated as a soul family, as one entity who has been split into different respective personalities usually for the incarnation unto or inhabitants of a lower dimension form which the division is, in effect, within. A lot of souls exist on your world as a part of the same entity of higher dimensional consciousness, and so very many ascended souls answered the call to assist your earth whenever the vibrations were inexplicably pulling her sprit down. The low vibrations that once dragged the earth down and fed in stated separation are now making their full exit away from the sphere of the collective perception and there will be so very many energetic events and indeed, there already have been, that will help to further initiate your new earth unto you and help your collective to realize that it is so. We recommend treating your bodies and spirits with ease at this time, because in the realms of spirit so very much is occurring and your bodies could use the proper nutrition and rest that you require to properly absorb your ascension energies. You will find much assistance from clean, blessed water and we stress the importance of consuming a lot of clean water at this time, because of the benefits in helping you adjust to the heightened levels of energy that water will, help you to feel. Water among many other things will help you to find the clarity and understanding that the energies delivering the higher realms unto your world are beginning to breed in many awakening souls at this time and as you increasingly grow toward these realms we are speaking to you from, you will see your infinity as a supreme being of light and as an aspect of the everlasting oneness energy. If we could only describe the experience of being in the oneness energy to you dear souls, it is truly an amazing and paradigm-shattering experience to behold. When you can feel yourselves as a part of the one source whom we all truly are, you will see that you have created the lower realities you now traverse from the realms of full consciousness, 
for the purpose of experiencing the lower realms and helping bring them back into the refined light planes your Earth currently exists in, which your collective is to find in the time ahead. You can help to bring about the changes you wish to see on your world and you can all become instruments for the higher realms and the truths of the higher realms to come through, and we ask you all to see your power and potential because you have all of the realms you have yet to traverse, awaiting your realization of their presence within and all around you. When you can begin to realize that your inner and outer realms are merged, you will notice that your creations and manifestations are coming to you in your lives much faster than they used to. This will increase and pick up as 2013 commences further and you will find heightened and increased extrasensory abilities as well, such as telepathy and your ability to pick up on synchronicities. As you realize that you are able to attune to higher dimensional energies that will display your infinity to you, you will begin to anchor the higher realms unto yourselves and the very, energetic, influence you will garner from doing so in all those who have themselves began to awaken will strengthen the momentum to bring about positive and lighted change on your world for the entire collective to benefit from. Indeed, dear souls, is this not the goal of the incarnations of many of you? Your goal as a collective is to find and feel the harmony that you know you possess within as when finding this harmony, you will be one step closer to realizing that you are one creator entity who has been split up and divided. This is truly so and we are a facet of this entity as well and as you evolve you will begin to find that you are the conscious controller and creator of the reality around you. This is and will be accounting for the increased speed and ease in which your manifestations and thoughts come before you in your personal lives, as the increasingly pure vibrations being given to your world at this time are calling for the heightened perception on the part of every dear soul who has opened up to the higher realms and began to find an awakening that, up until this point, has been subtle. You are a very powerful collective of beings who possess a light within that is so great and pure, and the cabals on your world have wished for you to remain disconnected from your natural light source and the natural intelligence and knowledge you all carry within. They have wished to keep you dear souls divided and perceiving only outward separation, and they have succeeded in permeating the collective vibrations with separation and hate up until this point. As you are beginning to awaken and as you realize the very need to come together, the Cabal's influence will linger away as the collective vibrations are geared toward the establishment of peace and harmony. We recommend that you all begin to get active in exposing and putting forth truth and the concepts of the higher realms to any soul who cares to listen, as the task is now yours to further attract your fifth dimensional reality to yourselves. 1. You will be and have been given so much assistance, and we will happily continue to give you reports and writings related to the ascension of your world and how events will continue to manifest. Eventually, you will find yourselves drawn so close to us and the energies of our collective, that you will naturally pick up on our vibrations and before we are a direct presence on your world, you will find yourselves able to pick up on our impressions and energies in a much easier manner as the veils between us thin to almost nothing. These veils will indeed be transmuted fully and at present, they are being fed by the pillars of darkness that will be much easier to topple than many of you would perhaps realize. We cannot stress enough that the higher light planes and energies of your Nova Earth are indeed descending unto your beautiful third and fourth dimensional reality, and helping you all to initiate yourselves into your long look toward new paradigm by way of increased intensity and lessons in your lives that serve to expose and transmute any remaining vestiges of yourselves who would hold you back from an unfiltered and undistorted higher dimensional experience. You will all begin to pick up on the brimming vibrations and encoded impressions imbued unto the energies we and so many other souls are giving you and you will begin to find yourselves natural receptors for the energies and impressions of the higher realms in any ways such energies are offered. For example, you will be and are able to bring through the energies of your higher selves and aspects of your higher selves, as well as specific galactic and angelic beings and collectives. You are also able to bring pure Logos energy through yourselves and anchor it unto the surface of Gaia, as well as interact with, reality, planes beyond the conscious understanding of the majority of your public. We would love to speak about the etheric, infinite planes you can begin to access and interact with, because these realms are important for you dear souls to realize and there is much you can learn from them. Your imagination is reality, dear souls, and that cannot be expressed enough. 
What you think up in your mind and fill with the energies and emotions of your heart is a real creation that is manifested in a real etheric landscape, and the very landscape your creations are manifested upon can be accessed by way of imagination and intent, and worked upon to find and discover an infinite array of ascended and etheric lands. You can connect with the energies of a departed loved one, a galactic being assisting in the ascension of your planet, the energies of our entire ascended collective as our scribe is currently doing or simply, an aspect of your higher self who will give you specific instructions and advice on how you can further assist yourselves in your ongoing ascension process. We are all here, waiting to be called upon and waiting to be seen, felt, known and accessed by you dear souls because we have so very much assistance and help to offer you, but we can only offer it if asked for it and we can only give assistance where assistance is purposefully sought. We cannot come to you in bold ways within if you are not properly opened and attuned to the correct frequencies of energy to be able to reach the four of our energies and impressions, but we can come to you if you are opened up and open to the concepts of inner communication as well as an ascended being or an entire collective of us, who will offer knowledge and insight for as many earthly souls as possible. Oh, how we enjoy addressing humanity directly as we have been able to and we will be able to in the time ahead as we help you all to realize things about yourselves and your world, and as you work to rebuild your dear earth. We foresee humanity delightfully taking the reins in the time ahead, and beginning to help your surface join the earth spirit in the realms of the fifth dimension. Full consciousness will have so very much to offer you dear souls and you will find that your growth and learning of lessons continues in the fifth dimension and beyond because you have so much to experience before reaching the purest realms of consciousness wherein you will merge with the understanding and perception of our Mother Father Creator. We are all facets of the Creator and we have been funneled down into lower realms that we created from the higher realms we were experiencing, to play around in and grow within as we realized ourselves as the Creator of our surroundings and saw that we were constructed of the very energy creating and sustaining our dimensional experience. Every octave of creation is adjusted to the specific frequency of Lagos energy that the life forms of such octaves are comfortable on and exist on naturally, because it is where they are at in their growth in that moment. You are existing currently within an evolving third and fourth dimensional reality and the majority of your collective has been initiated into the realms of the fourth dimension, from wherein you will work to traverse the realms and lessons of the fourth dimension either slowly or rapidly depending on how your collective handles and responds to the increasingly pure energies that will bring your realizations and understandings to you of course, with the effort on your part to receive them. At present, you are feeling a continual shifting and reintegration as the lower astral realms of your world are being cleansed and much of humanity continues to feed an increasingly fading illusion. We will continue to motivate and encourage because if you could possess our perspective, you would see that you are closer than ever to bringing the higher realms to yourselves. As we make our final impressions for this communication, we express the positivity surrounding you that will help to shape and morph your perspectives and show you that the light, as well as the positivity and happiness driving the light, are indeed on your world and are there to stay. Look to the glittered vibrations permeating the vision of so many of you, because they are the key to unlocking the realities and perspectives you have worked so hard to attain. Thank you to the Ascended Collective.